Okay, now it's the time to make these bars, uh, which are part of this so far. What we can do, uh, we don't want to use this uh, cylinder here because it has a custom shape uh, that I can't do that with cylinder. I'm going to use another box. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide these two objects. I'm going to select right click and hide selection so you can easily see uh, what is my method. I'm going to choose a better color so it's not going to interfere with my color. I usually use orange. I'm going to go here. Make this looks like look like a bar. So 2.2. Gonna paste. So make sure that bits and height have the same uh, length. And I'm gonna add along widths. I'm gonna add five. Edges. I'm going to have five or even more. I think five or six is enough. If I apply a mesh smooth, number two, subdivision. You see, it's, it looks like a cylinder. So I can easily reshape this to whatever I want. What I need to do is just first I'm gonna clone this because I need uh, the same shape for, for for behind this. So I'm gonna use this huge line here, one behind this, and one here. So this goes behind this. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna make the length to be something like five. Or even bigger, 10. Let's see. This is 5 was fine. So 5 here. Clone. I'm going to call this bar 2. I move this down. I'm, I'm going to rename this so I can easily change bar 1. So I'm going to select bar 2. So remember that uh, if you name uh, uh, correctly, you can easily come here and search here, search for nose, type bar, and then you can easily find whatever you want. So that's why I'm naming them. I'm going to choose it here. I'm going to make this to be 10, which is very good. 8 is enough. 7, I think. Let's move this down. And now it's the time to select both of these bars. I don't think to select both. I select one of them. I just need to make the segments more. So 12 or even more, 15 should be enough. I'm going to more add more segments to this one too. I'm going to add 10, uh, 12 for this one. So 10. And I need to extend this one, extrude this. So I have to select this, select these edges like this connect so I added one extra custom edges and I think that should be enough I'm going to select this side extrude 3.3 again extrude 3.3 there is another option other than repeating the same thing over and over I'm going to remove this one. It's going to be easier. I'm going to use a bevel. 
I'm gonna use curvature as linear I'm gonna make offset as zero and I'm gonna use length and then I can choose segments so I use bevel without any offsets and I can control number of segments I think that should be enough uh, how many so at this time I really need to see uh, right click I, I really need to see other uh, objects so I can choose what is the best length for that uh, so let's go to the, I'm gonna ch choose bar one and bar two move them back like this so I know that uh, I need these bars to be shorter or bigger based on the shape that I have mm. so this one needs to be a bit to the left So I'm going to go back to the bevel, a bit extend this, so it's going to be in the center of here, a bit more, more edges, I'm going to select these edges, connect, I'm going to select vertices of this one, I'm going to hold down control and select the edge. Sorry, I think I selected the wrong one, so I'm going to repeat one more time, go to the edge. Uh, it's going to select uh, also the neighbor, so that's not the correct way. So I'm going to use this way. And I'm going to select these edges, unselect, unselect sides, and now I have the bar that I want. Select this one. Again, I use the bevel. I use linear. I use offset of zero. And length. So I want to make it uh, look better, so I have to select this face which is inside. I'm going to go to the wireframe, I'm going to select this side, so it's going to go into the mesh, and then do one extrude, I guess one more extrude is enough, so it's going to go into the mesh. So I'm going to go back here, I'm going to extend this as well, again bevel, linear, offset 0, and same thing. So we need to extend this same way as on the other side, so I'm going to go and make this a bit longer. I'm going to choose this, oh, I'm going to make this a smaller, so instead of adding a new segments, I'm going to select extrude, so I have a box shape here, I'm going to use bevel again. goes into the mesh. Let's click three. That looks fine. Same with this object. I'm gonna select this separate object. I'm gonna use I'm gonna go here with back extrude select this face Bevel. 
again, same as the other one. Let's see. Now is the time to apply mesh smooth. See what we did. Type 2. Yeah, it looks fine. I think it needs more, but number 3 subdivision is going to look better because we're not going to have any uh, smoothing problem then. So I'm going to select object mode. Again, I'm going to select this one and I'm going to apply mesh smooth for this one too. And call it number three. Now what we need is uh, these pieces of wood. Uh, so I just have to again start with a box. Go to the move mode. I'm going to go to this direction and make this a smaller, make this also smaller. The length is what we want. I guess that's fine. So I'm going to rotate this. I'm not going to rotate this because I'm going to have a flat uh, surface here. So I'm going to go to the vertex mode. Let me uh, move this a bit uh, down so you can see better what is my plan. So I'm just going to go to the vertex mode, select these vertices and move them. So we're going to have a better shape. And this one is going to be flat. So I'm going to select like this. We need more edges uh, on this side. So I'm going to connect and choose the number of segments two. So it looks like better shape. If you want to, to look like flat on this side, you have to move this down. But I don't want to change the shape like this. So what I can do is just, uh, I'm going to go to the um, perspective mode. I'm going to select the face and extrude. I'm going to choose look all. I'm going to need something like this very very close to the bottom of uh, the mesh. I'm going to move this a little bit like this. I'm going to move these vertices as well. So we're going to have a very, very close shape. Let's see if I apply mesh smooth. You're gonna have better shape. You see how smooth is this area? That's what we don't want. So what we can do, we can easily go to perspective mode and remove this face. I'm gonna remove this face and let me show you if I apply mesh smooth, then this border is gonna be flat. That's what I really want. I'm going to go to the move. So we need a bit more curviness here. So I can easily just deselect Mesh Smooth and select this, select this, and select this, like this. Now I have something similar to what I wanted. I go to the perspective. Oops. 
we need four of these one here uh, let's make this a bit more beautiful because we need to scale this on Z direction the local uh, because it, this is in the local space so I'm gonna because I rotated 90 degree and my scale is in local so I'm gonna use other axis to achieve scaling I guess that's pretty good now I select this mesh here I'm gonna clone this move this here I'm gonna select this one I'm gonna select the second uh, wood as well and right click and merge I'm gonna go to the model and merge now we have merged uh, both of them now if you select this because they are one mesh you can easily go to the mirror and then you have the mirror here the difference of mirror and symmetry is they are using the same symmetry but slice is not on and weld is not on so if you move them back to each other you're not going to see a cut and it's a lot faster so it looks nice unless somebody prefers to change it I guess from the picture it seems the wood should be around here I deselect this by clicking here now clicking five and let's select again here precious moves number three yes we achieved what we wanted now we have a beautiful sofa the only thing that remains coloring adding materials the same way as a reference thank you for watching subscribe don't forget to like this video